we just got done watching the season eight finale of When Calls the Heart. Elizabeth and Lucas on the bridge together. They've decided to start a courtship. I hope that finds you here. Aaron, what's your immediate reaction? I'm very happy and I'm very sad. It was just never going to be. Diplomatic, diplomatic answer. Well, it's the truth, <laughs> people. I hope that I'm validating what probably many of the Hardys are feeling, which is like very mixed feelings. We have been blessed with Kevin and Chris who have done such an incredible job bringing these characters to life. And it's impossible not to, uh, as a viewer, fall in love with the characters they've created. It's just impossible not to. So I'm, I'm really excited about this next chapter for Elizabeth, getting to see her happy and free and in love. I think that'll be a really positive thing to get to play. But, um, but yeah, my feelings are, are mixed, if I'm being honest. Kevin, how did you feel when you read the scripts? Th this decision, I think, was right up until the very end you know there's many i've read many comments being like oh you know they're they're wind they're, they're weaving us through this like carefully orchestrated thing but i mean the truth is that, that a lot of the time hallmark all of us were kind of still kind of figuring out what was best what was the best way to go so when when we did finally come to that conclusion i, th I think it, it it does open up for some really interesting storylines moving into into next season Chris, I want to ask you, how do you feel about being the suitor that she chose in the end? I think that Lucas is ecstatic. He did his best to show her how he felt and, <laughs> uh, and tried to be patient and took his time. Obviously, there were hiccups along the way, but I think he said in, I can't remember if it was season six or season seven, but he said, I'll, uh, I'll wait as long as I have to, um, to for the woman of my dream. Something, something in that neighborhood. So I, I think he's mostly just relief and, uh, and excitement for the future. You're all that matters. You're all that's important. Thank you for waiting for me. In the end, what do you think it was ultimately for Elizabeth that made her decide Lucas is really the right fit for me? For a long time, um, Elizabeth has just been kind of confused and overwhelmed by her feelings. And specifically the connection that she's felt with Nathan over these past few years, it is undeniable. There's been a connection between these two characters. And I think for a long time, she was swept up in those feelings with Nathan, but didn't necessarily realize how much of it was because of Jack and what she was um, almost projecting onto Nathan. And so, once she got to a point where she could see the difference between why she was feeling what she was feeling for Nathan and what she'd been feeling all along for Lucas, I think it became clear to her that one was absolutely love, but the other was the other was hopefully her lifetime. That's going to be the person that she is in love with, her next great love story. The decision for Elizabeth and Lucas to be together, was that something you knew going into season eight or was this kind of like a, a last minute uh, up against the clock, we got to figure this out sort of deal? I will say the decision was made in season eight. It was not made in the first episode. It was a very long drawn out decision that involved many voices and brains and um, yeah, it took a really long time. I think we would have been in really great shape with either decision. It just would have been a slightly different story. We have to talk about this absolutely breathtaking moment on the bridge. The two of your characters, they reunite and they share what I feel is, is such a grand and cinematic kiss. What was that day like on set? What kind of conditions were you filming in? Did it feel different knowing that you were filming like such an important scene? The conditions were poor, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it, was, it was a really, uh, it was just sort of a scary day. We, we, we had 
saved this very important scene for the final day of filming. And, you know, we can't control the weather and we were expecting this really bad windstorm. There was conversation the night before of what do we do? Do we move the scene? Do we move it inside Elizabeth's row house? And Chris and I both felt pretty strongly like the scene couldn't happen in Elizabeth's living room. It, it had to happen somewhere that, that, as you said, felt cinematic that was yeah. a place that was special to them. Luckily, all we got was a bit of a drizzle and I think it turned out, I think it turned out beautiful. I was just massively stressed out because it was, uh, we were waiting for this huge rainstorm to come in, the winds were picking up, you know, branches were cracking, we're all we can use, we don't have time, we don't have time, like we can't do this, you know, is it safe, is it not? There was a lot, there was a lot. Uh, but at the end of the day, it all came together. For Lucas, it's, it's a very, powerful moment. I think they just both intuitively understand each other and know that they've come to the same place and common ground and that they can finally come together, no strings attached and, and move forward. We wanted it to feel like it was this explosion of their passion and emotion, right? And that it wasn't just like one sweet romantic kiss. It was just like this I, now that I have you, I don't want to take my hands off you kind of feeling. It's almost like the dialogue is secondary in a way. Okay, well, just when I thought my heart couldn't explode any more than it, it did, you gave us an unbelievable final scene in the episode. For now, I'm afraid she's all out of words. Why did you feel that this scene was a great way to, to tie up season eight with a bow? It's just like a little bonus. It's a little extra of getting to see those two people happy together. And I think in addition to it being an opportunity for us to get to see Lucas and Elizabeth happy together, it's just nice to see Elizabeth with a smile on her face. And so I think ending season eight on a, on a positive note, um, it's our promise to the fans of good things to come. To quote Kevin McGarry from, I believe, an earlier conversation we had, it looks like this time it was Elizabeth who went to the mercantile and bought out the entire candles. <laughs> all the candles. Yeah, yeah, all the candles. Everywhere else in Hope Valley, nobody can get any light. <laughs> Ethan, I do love you. It'd be impossible not to. But I'm not in love with you. I'm just so sorry. How do you feel Nathan handled it? What was it like being in that scene? In that scene, that was all air. And I just remember like thinking, I just got to listen and take this in. That's all I got to do. And we heard the Connor or one of the, the grips, I think he was on my coverage and Aaron was like given that monologue, right? Where she, you know, it's a bit like, it's the break. It's a very beautifully written breakup. And I'm just sitting there taking it. And then I think we heard Connor go, oh, that's brutal. <laughs> I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> It was written that Nathan thanked her at the end. So I, I thought, you know, we owe it to the fans that have been with this. Like, you got to see him getting, you got to see him get his heart broken, essentially. And I just thought it was better if he didn't say anything and he just took that in. How is he doing? You think he's heartbroken, gutted? Or you think he's... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think he is totally heartbroken. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's, he, he'll go on. We all get broken hearts and that'll be, you know, a fun, you know, a fun thing to play. I hope he has some kind of redemption story of him, you know, building himself back up and, and moving on. What does this next chapter of life for Nathan look like? I think, you know, there, there should be a little bit of mourning that we see at the beginning of season nine that, that Nathan's gonna have to go through. What's so cool is that both these guys are still like on the show, so we, we get to see these after stories. We've all, we've all seen, you know, the, the guy that gets the girl and the happy ever after, but like the guy that doesn't is still on the show. So there's this whole different, you know, storyline that's, that's gonna come out of it. I think for sure we'll see Nathan's bond with Allie grow. That kind of comedy, you know, of, of this guy raising a daughter now as, as, a, as a father figure with no kind of female um, uh, input. How do you think she's going to handle still having Elizabeth as her teacher, but knowing that her uncle isn't with the woman that she wants him to be with? I think she's going to move into season nine. I think she's going to be more interested in her own love life. In all honesty, like, what is she, 14? Yeah. Like, 
I I think she's made peace with that. I think she knows Uncle Nathan's fine. He's been through worse. But now I think she's, I mean, it'll be interesting to see. <laughs> she's got her eye on Nathan, Robert. Yeah. Well, I mean, Nathan just got his heart broken. Now he's got to deal with his, uh, the young love, love life of his niece. From one kid to another, from Allie, I want to talk a little bit about little Jack. Of course, now that Lucas is absolutely going to be a, a heavier presence in Elizabeth's life. Um, Chris, what can you tell me about the hopeful bond that we'll get to see between Jack and Lucas? Well, I hope we get some scenes uh, that don't get cut. Well, this is what happened <laughs> this year. We did one. Oh, that literally got cut. Lucas gave little Jack the toy dog or something like that and said yes. uh, every little every little boy needs a dog. I, I'm looking forward to next season and working more with the Taylor twins and seeing Lucas in more of a father figure role. I have to congratulate the three of you. Such huge news. When Calls the Heart coming back for season nine. Is there a storyline that you're most excited to tell in season nine? I am really interested in figuring out what the friendship is like between Elizabeth and Nathan. I I love working with Kevin and I am just really excited to see what that dynamic is and how they move forward with each other. Um, and I mean, obviously we talked a lot about how exciting it'll be to get to bring Lucas into the little Thornton family and see what that is like. I guess I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say is I can't wait to get back to work with both <laughs> Kevin and Chris. No. Oh. John did send me something recently that was like, I really want to do this with your character. Don't tell anyone. And I was like, okay. So I what don't know. Is it? What is I it? I can't Come tell on. you. You like the idea? It would be a, a trip. Yeah, it would be a big thing if it happened. I'm looking forward to exploring the relationship farther between Lucas and Elizabeth. I kind of think that it might be fun on a personal level for Lucas, who has always done quite well financially to maybe run into some trouble and see what it looks like when everything is taken away. Of course, we've been on this journey with the three of you for the last three seasons. What do you have to say to the, the Team Nathan fans and the Team Lucas fans now that there's been a conclusion to this love triangle? Well, I have to say thank you to them for being uh, patient with us. I'm so, so happy that both Kevin and Chris are sticking around and that we're going to get to continue to tell these stories together. Nathan is going to be just fine. Like he's going to be great, in fact. And and Kevin, it's probably most important that they hear it from you because Kevin's going to be just fine too. So yeah. how, how are you yeah. feeling, Kevin? The Team Lucas fans, I'm very happy that you got what you wanted. That it's going to go the way that you want. I hope you enjoy it. And, and to the Team Nathan fans, hey guys, uh, Nathan here. Um, <laughs> look, I'm I'm sorry it didn't go the way that you, that, that you wanted it, but you know, thank you for all the support that you gave Nathan. Um, but you know, at the end of the day, it is it, it's about Elizabeth's happiness and her heart with Lucas. So we gotta we gotta be happy for for, for Elizabeth. But Team Nathan and Team Lucas, I think it's time to come together and be Team Hope Valley. <laughs>